we are not any significant emitters at all none of us are but we bear the largest burden of the impact of that and how do we bear that burden uh, we see it in the change in the climate we see it in the more frequent hurricanes we see it in the intensity of the hurricanes. so they're fast they're, they're more and they're 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 much stronger nowadays we see it in more frequent droughts alternating with floods so in a single year we could have a drought in the beginning of the year and a huge flood to the end and and we've experienced that in belize and in other parts of the caribbean as well earlier this year in guyana they had a hundred year flood they had places up in the interior in guyana that had not flooded for for pe people don't have memories of, of of that ever happening and it was a significant flooding event that and that had impact all the way through to the coast so the weather is changing climate in particular over the longer period of time is changing um, the impact of that is 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 on our, our our coastlines it's on our ability to plan for the future if sea level rises at the rate that it is expected to rise if we are not able to keep the the rise in in global temperature to below the 1.5 to stay alive that we talk about many of us are going to lose some of our countries we are going to lose some of our coastlines. We are going to lose a lot of our cities. We are going to lose. There's, there's, there's. It is just a, a, a humongous loss that we are facing in the Caribbean region. And so we have to do two things. We have to prepare um, to to for the impact of stronger and stronger storms, and we have to adapt for the eventuality of the higher sea level rise. Both of which are extremely costly on all our countries. And we are not the reason why it's happening. So that is that is the reason. Those are the reasons why we are here. Because if we don't solve that and solve it in a way that is just. And when we say climate justice, we mean that the people who cause the trouble must pay the price. That's what it means. It means that we are bearing a price well beyond anything we have caused to happen to us. And there must be a way that we can be assisted in terms of adaptation, in terms of mitigation, in terms of preparing for the future. The future is very uncertain for our children and grandchildren.